my darlings. It is the most perfect day today. Ooh, bad hair day. Um, as you just saw, Charlie and I made a trip to Dalesford this morning, which could become a very unhealthy obsession because it really is so lovely there and yet it's just it really is just crazily expensive um i think if we restrict ourselves to once a week then we won't be doing too badly but we once again have reached that point where we didn't have any food in the house um and it's just too glorious today to spend hours queuing around the supermarket so we're going to go to waitrose tomorrow but we're now just enjoying a lovely lunch in the sunshine and it really is absolutely glorious i have got a cauliflower and cauliflower and something or other salad a veggie sausage roll and a cheese quiche i'm also trying to be really cool with my sunglasses um, these are the ted baker ones and the chain i actually found um, from a com company that i discovered on instagram called talis chains i hope that's the correct correct pronunciation but i think it is really really cool um charlie thinks i look a bit like a chic grandma but i'm okay with that so I'm going to enjoy an early lunch in the sunshine. Um, not really too sure what the plans are for the rest of the day. I'm hoping this little nodule that we needed from Amazon for the washing machine will have arrived at some point um, because I have a lot of washing to do, as you can imagine, from not having a machine for the last month. And I'm really, really excited to do the washing. So that's the plan for today. Little puppies like to sit under the table where it's nice and cool. Nice and cool. Spinning like a broken record For a player you don't know that many major chords We hang out and then you get bored And you leave me here like I'm your plan Oh my goodness, we have received the loveliest gift. These are from the girls from Elizabeth Arden. I'm so, so grateful. It is two beautiful hydrangeas. I've quickly brought them over to the shade because I don't want to shock them too much since they've been in a box um, for the last 24 hours or so. It is two beautiful hydrangeas, which are Charlie and my favorite plants. Oops, there's the bells. Um, this is a hydrangea macrophylla which I think is like the other hydrangeas that we've got. It's going to be so lovely. It's looking so healthy compared to our frostbitten ones. Um, and then this one, I think Charlie might have taken the tag off, but it's almost like a, a bigger cone-shaped hydrangea. So they're just going to be absolutely stunning and the perfect addition to our garden. So I'm very, very grateful. Thank you to all the Elizabeth Arden girls for being so thoughtful and sending us such a lovely, lovely present. Thank you. So I've just got changed into my hot summer day outfit because it is toasty outside. Um, if you can hear noise in the background, we have got Andrew upstairs and I think he's like sand blasting the curved wall bedroom sand. ready for painting. Sand. Sanding. There's no sand blasting is spraying sand on something. If he was doing that, we'd be sanding the room. Um, but I've come into the drawing room because Charlie has been busy replacing the light bulbs in our newly beautified lights here in the drawing room. So we have put up the pookie lights and they look absolutely stunning. Let me show you. So these are the lights that Charlie and I ordered from Pookie Lights and they just look absolutely stunning. As you can see, we need to um, just go around the edges of the fixtures with a little bit more of the treatment that's been put on the wood because you can actually see a little bit of paleness yeah. behind. Um, and then Charlie has installed some Philips Hue light bulbs. So does this mean that you can control yeah, it from so your phone? So these are the filament range, which mm -hmm. are fairly new, I think. There's three types. We are, we're using all three throughout the house. As you remember the big globe ones in the kitchen, they're Philips Hue filament. And what it does also mean in this room, which will be really useful, is we don't need to put a dimmer switch in mm -hmm. because on your phone, you can dim them and obviously you can make them brighter. Um, in this room, it's not maybe as important, but the best thing about it is obviously we can turn them off. So when we leave the house, we can just turn off the lights. Yeah. Or when we go to bed, it's no, we don't have to dash around the house thinking if mm. we've turned them off in every room. Plus, to be honest with you, the filament ones are really attractive. Like, I think when they're behind glass like that, I really like the glow that they give. Yeah, it's a really nice glow. Um, so yeah. Good work. And then obviously we've got these lamps from Pookie Lights. This one's not going to stay in here. It looks good in here though. 
It does. Doesn't it? Yeah. But um, I think that's going to be in the family room slash lounge. Mm -hmm. This one's obviously staying in here, which is also completely cute. Which is exactly the same. It shows the difference, doesn't it, in what a lampshade can do? Because that's the same light fitting, the same lamp. That's really quite a difference, yeah. Yeah, with darker colour and obviously it's a drum. Do you know what though, the pink lamp next to the sofa, like those two colours look so good together. I know, but I think that, that and that pink work well in the family room. Mm -hmm. And I think in here, bear in mind that we've got pink in the family room and we've got pink bedroom. Yeah. I think we're going to go for more of a green vibe in here, aren't we? Yeah. So I think we need to go, I like that green, but we need like a velvety green in there. So what are we going to do with that? Yeah. No, that one stays in here, but we need another lamp. I think exactly where that one is, but we haven't got that lamp yet. Hmm. So I have to stay tuned. TBC. As we were coming out of our little lane on our way to Dalesford earlier, we spotted this at the side of the road and it said free to a good home. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to practice the upholstering that I'm going to be doing on the antique bed that we've ordered. Um, I think maybe I'll start by sanding down some of the wood. We can paint that, but I'm going to watch a few YouTube videos this evening on um, how to actually re upholster, like how to take the pins out and things like that. But it could be a good fun practice project. So it has been quite a productive afternoon, although I haven't vlogged that much, I'm sorry. Um, as you saw, just a little bit of cleaning out of the duck pond. I ordered a telescopic net from Amazon and um, started to clear out lots of the leaves. There were quite a lot of newts and kind of like lar larvae, larvae in the stuff that I was fishing out. So I've just left it all on the side so that over the next day or so they can creepy crawl their way back in to the pond and then we'll probably pop it on the compost. I'm now, um, I've now just been sitting in the sun and looking at Pinterest guides to reupholstering antique French chairs. I think from the style of this, it probably is French. And I'm currently sat on my laptop on Amazon again, making a little order because I need a few things like pliers, some of that nail, um, what's it called, like pin head um, trimming, some foam and things like that. Of course, I do also need some fabric, but I'm still waiting for a few more samples to arrive. So I think I'll give that another couple of days before deciding on what fabric to use but this is gonna be quite an exciting project to do over the next couple of weeks or so. I just popped upstairs to change my camera battery and I thought I would show you this lovely delivery that arrived from L'Occitane. Excuse this mark, I think it's underneath the glass on the dressing table, um, but depending on how my DIY skills are, goodness me, this outfit is not terribly fashionable, but this is literally my, I'm gonna be lying in the sun all day outfit. Um, yeah, if my chair DIY goes well, then I might try the table too. So this was a lovely delivery from Lox Tan, and it is to celebrate Naomi's collaboration with them to create her own lipstick, which I've seen on her Instagram, and I'm so looking forward to trying. It looks like the most gorgeous shade. It's called Sweet Rosé, which just sounds heavenly. 
Um, they've also popped in a couple of delicious lip oils. Oh my goodness, that sounds gorgeous. And this is amazing. This is the Melly Milon um, lip scrub. And I'm so glad they sent this because I was actually watching Freddie's skincare video this morning. And she said that she scrubs her lips every evening or every morning. And I thought, yeah, that's such a great idea because I do sometimes wake up with slightly dry lips. So that is going to be my new part of my lip maintenance routine. And also they sent over this, which is an invigorating face and eye mask with freshly picked Provence melon. It is a sorbet texture for, instant, for an instant fresh-faced glow, and that sounds just heavenly after a day in the sun, so I'm excited to give that a try. I don't have much makeup on at the moment, so this probably isn't the best time to try a lipstick, but I can't wait, and it promises eight hours of creamy wear. That is the most gorgeous shade. Absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, can't wait to try this. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's like a kind of corally pink, which is so flattering when you've got a bit of a tan. As I said, I don't have much makeup on at the moment, so it'd look better if my base was a little bit more even, but that is absolutely gorgeous. You've absolutely nailed the color. Well done, Naomi. And it feels so lovely and creamy. Definitely something you'd want to keep on your lips all day long. So I'm going to complete my Amazon order for a few essentials reupholstering the chair. And then I'm going to continue painting the little wooden stump, which you may have seen in a hyperlapse earlier. Basically, I wanted something that we could just use to prop up the kitchen window because on a hot day like today, it's so nice to just leave the kitchen window open. If someone's in there, then it just makes it easier to like pass food or coffee through and generally it's just nice in the kitchen to have a lot of fresh air in but because they're obviously quite heavy they do slide down so I thought if I can find a little stump to hold it up then that would be absolutely perfect um, and I found one that was exactly the right size so I thought I would paint it white so it looked like it fit in with the windowsill so I'm going to add a third coat to that then I might have a go at removing the pins and the fabric on the chair. One of the tips that I saw online was to take photos of the chair before you start to pull it all apart um, paying particular attention to any corners and any special finished areas. So for example, where they folded the fabric in the corners. To be honest, anything that I do to this chair will drastically improve it. It looks like they've used straw to fill it. So yeah, this chair is majorly in need of some love. So I'm gonna go around and take some snaps close up just so I can mimic the finishes. And then it's time to start pulling these nails out. Even if it looks not that great when it's done, it's definitely gonna be an improvement and it's gonna be a really good practice. I'd quickly show you what I'm actually doing in case anyone is ever tempted to do this at home as well. Um, so the top half has been half done and half not done um, and and what I'm doing is using a screwdriver to get in behind these pins and pull them out. So what I'm doing is basically taking a flat ended screwdriver like this, it's probably got a technical term but that's what I'm going to call it, and um, using it to wedge out these pins which I'm not going to lie, I think this chair is probably at least 100 years old, it feels absolutely ancient. Um, and then I am using some pliers, like so, which I found in Charlie's man box, to pull it out. And I'm popping them all in this plant pot, which is going to get removed. So I'm going to do that all the way around, and then we're going to have a go at removing this faded and not so lovely fabric, and see what delights lie underneath.
So this arm, I have managed to pull the fabric off and this padding. Um, obviously really super duper old padding and also come to the conclusion that this chair was probably upholstered before upholstering staples were invented. <laughs> it's so old because I don't know if you can see here but there are actually secondary metal studs underneath the original studs. So look at Dexter's back legs. Look at these little back poor Dini. Oh, I just love it when he sits like this. You've got upholstering stuff all over you. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to remove these ones. I might just put some more um, foam over the top of here and then cover it because that could be a massive job to take those off as well. So continuing all the way around, got another arm to do. It's going to be quite a long job, but hopefully it'll be very satisfying when it's done. I think after this stage, then I might sand down the wood ready for painting. Somebody has found the unupholstered fabric. Goodness me, I feel I'm quite exhausted from today's endeavours. Um, the chair is, yeah, it's going to be a bigger job than I thought, but we've got time and it's quite nice to have an outdoor activity that's not gardening to keep me occupied because I feel like we've almost got to the point with the garden where it's going to start to really just need a bit of time to settle in and there's not a huge amount more um, that we can do. Charlie will always find more to do in the garden. <laughs> He's still out there pottering now. Um, but I've just come in and I'm going to take my makeup off. I feel quite grubby because of what we've been doing today. Um, I'm definitely going to have a pampering shower later, but I think I'll do that after dinner. I have just received an under the stories order and I know I have been buying a lot lately. Um, I think it's this lockdown. I just want to treat myself and there was a sale at under the stories um, a couple of days ago. So let me show you what I picked up. So with my new country wardrobe, I actually thought this blouse could be a really nice kind of throw it on in an afternoon type of blouse. You know when you just want things that cover your shoulders, maybe take the chill off and also just protect you from the sun, especially on a day like today if I was getting a little bit rouge on my shoulders. I probably would never do this up, it would just be one of those blouses that you wear open. And this I believe was 30% off, I just really like the ditzy floral pattern. In fact if I could get a fabric like this for the armchair that I was just reupholstering then that would be really nice. And then for the same reasons really when it gets chilly in the evening and like I said in my what's new in my wardrobe video I have been wearing a lot more cardigans lately and I've been looking for a plain chunky cardigan and I saw this one and thought it looked absolutely perfect. I'm probably not wearing the exact right thing for trying on now but I'm just going to pop these both over my shoulders to give you a quick look at them. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect, exactly what I wanted it for. Just something that I could fling on over my shoulders on a summer's evening. Obviously this would be really chic in autumn winter as well with some nice layering pieces. You could wear a really lovely kind of pistachio green um, <clears throat> polo neck underneath this as well. But I just wanted it for popping on over the shoulders in the spring and summer evenings. So it's absolutely perfect for that. I have been wearing, as I mentioned I think earlier today, my Tula Rosa one for those kind of times times but I think it's nice to have a more neutral coloured one as well like this so I predict I'll get a lot of wear out of this cardigan. Definitely not a good combination with the patterned blouse underneath but the shirt is exactly what I was hoping for. It really does remind me of the kind of thing that you would fling on at the end of an afternoon when you are out in the garden is absolutely perfect and exactly what I wanted it for. The pattern is just a really kind of antique floral does need an iron as you can tell I like that it's quite a muted shade as well just a very relaxed piece and again I think if you wear this with some high-waisted trousers you could actually style it really nicely but I think for me this is going to be an addition to my casual wardrobe oh isn't that a pretty sight oh my goodness so I felt like this evening I needed a little bit of a pamper so I've done quite a thorough cleansing routine I did it over on my Instagram stories otherwise I would have filmed it for you, but I use this little um, facial cleanser, which is basically a dupe for the Foreo devices. I don't know why I've gone so blue. I look like an avatar. 
Yeah, I was sent this recently and it's kind of a dupe for a Foreo. It's much more affordable. And they said that they've given me a discount code as well, which is Josie 20 for 20% 20 off. <gasps> I literally look like an alien. It's basically one of those silicone brushes that vibrates and helps give you a deeper cleanse and exfoliation and um, kind of facial massage. And I have been very much enjoying using it, especially with a foaming cleanser. And then I've just popped on some of the uh, L'Occitane mask that I was sent today. So it's called the Invigorating Face and Eye Mask. So I'm gonna put it quite close around my eye area. It smells so good. Literally like a peach sorbet or some kind of lovely sorbet. Although I have a feeling with the amount that I've put on, this is only gonna last me a couple of weeks because I am applying rather a lot. It's just a treat my skin needed after a day in the sun. So I am now gonna have a lovely relaxing bath. I'm gonna stick on some YouTube videos and Charlie is now making bangers and mash, which I'm very much looking forward to, but I think I'll actually end the vlog here. I think this is the first time I've actually ended a vlog in a long time because normally I just kind of finish by showing you my dinner and then I, I get stuck into editing and I forget to finish off. So thank you for watching. Thank you also for your lovely feedback on these vlogs. You have really made it so lovely. Obviously it's not easy creating a vlog every single day and editing and uploading, especially with no internet, but your lovely comments just make it so worthwhile. So thank you so much to everyone that has left such kind words. I love knowing that you're enjoying coming along this journey with us um, and hopefully taking your mind off the absolute rubbish that is going on in the world at the moment. I've tried not to mention it so much recently because we all know that it's going on. I'm not a doctor, I can't add anything. I can't really add any advice. All I can really do is help to take your mind off things and I hope that these videos have been a nice distraction. So yeah, thank you darlings for sticking with me. But that's all for today darlings. I'm gonna have a nice relaxing evening. I'll see you tomorrow for more home things. Definitely, definitely gonna be doing my clothes washing tomorrow because Charlie ordered the little notch that we needed for the washing machine, um, but he ordered it to arrive in two weeks. So I've ordered another one to arrive tomorrow. So I'll definitely be able to get my washing done, which is fantastic. I know you just can't wait to see that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rambling. I will see you in the morning.